Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. My name's Tammy and I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today's video is just a quick video, I hope, <laughs> of my wrapping my bath bombs and I may throw in my labeling of my bath bombs as well, um, just so you can see how I do that. I have changed that quite a lot. Um, in the past year. I really enjoy the National Shrink Wrap System. It's made wrapping bath bombs so much easier. It was an investment, but 131 bath bombs this weekend, I am so glad I have it. <laughs> I am so glad I have it. I will have to take you out to the main basement area on the pool table. <laughs> I have literally destroyed that pool table. I hope there's not any like pool fans out there that's going to be highly offended at what I do to my pool table, but I have destroyed it. We don't play pool. The grandkids kind of play around on it. So it is what it is, guys. I've destroyed it. And I thought, you know, one of these days I will have it refilted and it'll be nice and I won't destroy it after that. <laughs> but I'm going to take you out there. I do have... The dehumidifier running out there it pretty much runs spring summer fall a hundred percent of the time i'm going to leave it running uh because i need it i want to wrap these bath bombs and protect them from the humidity that's in the air right now so i am going to leave that running hopefully that noise won't get too loud for you um but anyway yeah i'm going to take my lights out there and my camera and we're just going to wrap some bath bombs we're at my pool table and I went ahead and shut off the dehumidifier because the microphone is a good five or six feet away from me at this point and that thing is really loud. So I'm gonna shut it off for just a few minutes while I can get a few of these done. Um, you won't need to see me do the 131. So here's my National Shrink Wrap System. It comes with a, a felt and then this rubber um, mat that protects from heat. This is uh, Sunshine on My Mind by Nurture Soap. Love this. And not, not the best. <laughs> not the best. Look, it's, it reacted a little bit. Uh, design, but I still think it's quite pretty. With the, it's kind of like a gold on gold is basically what I was going for. Or gold on orange. I am going to start with three across and three down. So the first thing I do, and guys, I'm still I'm still not a professional at this by any stretch, but I just love it so much. Oops. So you just press down, straight down, and then you angle it, and it tears away super easy. And then you can do your next row. Just to, and it only takes a couple seconds. It's lovely for that. And I'm gonna roll them. I think it's the bottom gets really much longer than the top. It kind of, it doesn't stay even. The, the, the bottom layer and the top layer. One is usually like way longer than the other. Get that little charge part up here so I can I've seen youtubers do this and they do it so perfectly <laughs> I'm thinking I should probably not show you how bad I am at some things um, but this is just me working my thing, working my stuff here. You don't want to go too tight because you can cause a, a weak point in the seam. And yeah, I'm not going to get four down, so I'm only going to get three down. That's all right. I'm not going to be able to do all of them tonight because they're all not ready. Um, the 
and I haven't taken pictures yet. If I can get pictures done tonight, I will. So I'm going to hold out. I think I'm just going to hold out one and take a picture of just the one. I usually take pictures in threes. Everything has to have three. <laughs> and I just, you know, I, I, I just can't do that right now. I'm going to be doing good to get one. This is lavender driftwood from Candle Science with some lavender buds in there. Oh man, it smells good. So good. I'm kind of slow, guys. It definitely has a bit of a learning curve to it. And this is probably the third time, third time I've used it. I'm not getting this one down all the way for some reason. I also have a bit of an angle. I don't know why. If maybe that's normal, <laughs> or it's just normal to me. But if you guys have one of these and you know why, I and I can't help it. I I mean I. I, I will square it off and it doesn't seem to work. But see how the bottom is so much longer than the top part now? See that? Is there something I'm doing wrong? <laughs> if you know, let me know in the comments, okay? All right, guys, you know what? I'm going to shut you off for now and just keep working. I, I may do, a, I may continue to show you my work, but I'm going to go ahead and turn that uh, dehumidifier back on and yeah, just keep plugging away. In that short time, it raised five, it went from 60 to 65. Just in that short time I was doing that. Isn't that crazy? my gosh, you guys, it has been almost a week <laughs> that, that I was down here. And I went ahead and moved this back over to my main room because the lighting's better, the microphone is better, it's closer. Um, but let's get these. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to call them. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. But I think it's hard enough to package. So I'm just, I think I can get three. I have them, I think I told you, I have them set in this these little ornaments and they've done pretty well pretty well I'm still at an angle here it's, it drives me crazy that it's not I can't seem to keep it straight <laughs> it drives me crazy guys and for these I'm just doing three at a time because they make me a little nervous And I'm okay with that. I'm still not really, really good and proficient at 
the National Shrink Wrap System. I feel like I still have a ways to go on learning. These smell so good. I'm trying to remember what scent this is. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's that pink sugar. These smell fun. I like it. Now what I find that I'm doing is uh, if there's a lot of wrinkles in the bath bomb, it doesn't want to adhere clearly because there's like three or four layers of film trying to get um, sealed. So I'm trying really hard not to wrinkle my film and have like, does that even make sense? Like, like here, there's some folds in that seam, but sometimes I can have a fold like two or three deep and it doesn't seal very well, but I, I still get those folds. But I'm, I'm very happy with this uh, system. I have one more bath bomb that I ran out of room. And I didn't want to waste a whole roll, so I just set it aside and I'm going to do it with this roll. When I first tried to do these, I tried to make sure the seam wasn't anywhere near the frosting. It was kind of crazy. I struggled so hard <laughs> wrapping those bath bombs. <laughs> well, I gave up pretty quickly with the whole seam thing. <laughs> The seam can go wherever it wants to go. <laughs> I am going to save that. That's a pouch. Something will fit in there. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm going to move this aside. I got to I gotta get going. I got to have a hair appointment here in half an hour. Okay, so now just shrink wrapping. I see some of these YouTubers using this system and I'm thinking, what do, what do they know that I don't? <laughs> For one thing, I can't get this clean. It's got glitter. I tried so hard to clean it before I taped today and it still has glitter everywhere. How do they keep their so clean? How do they keep their lines so good? I, you know, they just have it and I don't apparently. <laughs> it's okay in the shrink wrap. It really, it, I'm just, I'm not very good. I'm not quite there. I have you out of focus. Um, I'm not quite there yet. I feel much more comfortable than I did a few months ago. Um, so practice will make perfect. And it looks a sight better than it did before I had this system. So that part makes me happy. So I am going to finish getting all of these labeled and then I will show you my labels. Okay guys, it's been a number of weeks actually since I have uh, taped and wrapped all my bath bombs. It is now um, mid-October and I just wanted to get on here really quickly and wrap this up for you. So here is my label. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And um, it's basically, I went on online labels and I bought the one and a half by 0.75 oval. And this is what it looks like with a few of them gone. You may be able to see it a little bit better. They're just like little ovals. And I, you can print on them. I write on some, like clearly I wrote on these. And um, for my, this is my wax test scent tester. I write on the lid and on the cup here so they match. Um, so I write on them for those. I usually will print them for the back bomb labels. Um, I may may do a video of how I do my labels. Uh, so it's it's not like I'm wasting a sheet. I never waste a label. <laughs> I don't do waste. So I can show you how I do it to where I'm not ever wasting any labels. Um, but yeah, I just stick those on there. Now the 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 the, the seam is a little rough. Um, it's a little messy looking in spots. I don't know if the camera will let you and the light's kind of glaring. It's a little it's a little messy in spots, but honestly, nobody's said anything about that and nobody's had this like reaction. It's like, oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> nobody, nobody has had any kind of reaction like that. So, you know, I think I'll get better with time. Um, and here's my card. This goes in every order. So every order or every, you know, if at a show, if they, or, if they buy a bath bomb, they get this card and it talks about the weights over here and on the back it has the ingredients for all the different um, bath bombs that I have on my table. The only thing I forgot to do on this card is add the uh, choking hazard warning for my bath bomb surprises. Forgot to add that. So this will work for this, but it won't work for my bath bomb surprises. So I'm going to have to update that and yeah, get that ready for my next sales. But I don't have any kids bath bombs left. I sold out at Cover Bridge. <laughs> Every single kids bath bomb is gone and I have no ingredients. So there we are waiting on ingredients. Who knows? Anyway, guys, I hope this wasn't too painful. <laughs> I'm, I know I'm not very good at it, but I do think that I may be getting better. <laughs> I think I'm getting better. So we'll see. Maybe the next time I tape a uh, bath bomb wrapping, I won't be so um, bad. <laughs> I don't know. But thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If it was too painful and you hated it, give me a thumbs down. And I'll just see you in the next video. Bye.